Okay, hey you guys, welcome. Today is a business review. So if you want your business reviewed, all you have to do is put your link in the comment. Okay, I get to um, typically one a week. And so um, it's just three tips to help a business owner figure out like what could they do to kind of help um, grow their business. And so if you want that done, just put your business link below. Um, if we haven't met, I'm Connie. I am a business strategist. I love um, helping business owners figure out where they need to just tweak some things, maybe where some of the puzzle pieces are missing um, so that they can get more sales, get more business. And so today we're going to talk through mastery purposes. Okay, I happen to be at a, um, well, okay. Here's the truth. I was at Sonic. <laughs> if you guys don't have a Sonic, I'm so sorry. Um, I was getting a Coke Zero with cherry and my pellet ice. And um, I saw all these tents over here on a little side street. And I was like, what the heck is going on there? Well, it happened to be like a little farmer's market setup type thing. And so I ended up getting out um, and just kind of walking around and met some really cool business owners. And one of them was Master Repurposers. And um, she does unique jewelry. Um, she kind of takes like different stuff. <laughs> we'll look at her website in a minute so you guys can see. Um, but she makes art and jewelry and things like that out of like stuff that most people would throw away. So anyway, we'll give you a, a side of that. Um, but here was the thing. I wasn't quite sure that I was ready to purchase at that moment. Um, and so I was like, she handed me a business card. And I love business cards. But here's my first tip. I would rather you capture my information. Okay? Because, especially women, y'all, like, let's fess up. Like, these go in the bottom of our purse. This was in the bottom of a bag where I had purchased some fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And so many times these get thrown away. Okay, so all that hard earned money that you've done can get thrown away. So if you're at an event or you're at something, I want you to try to capture their information. Connie, how do I do that? Um, that could be through text messaging. That could be through um a qr code like she's got the qr code i would like to see that on a stand up something and it goes into the it goes into a email opt-in it goes into um something where you're going to capture their name and their email okay or their name and their phone number capture them okay because you just don't know where these are going to go but let me give you a couple of three tips and I want you to look at this from your business. Okay, if I looked at your business, would I say the same things about your stuff, okay? So let's head over here. So this is her website and she kept saying like, go to my website, you can order from there. Awesome, so what's the first thing that you see? Okay, so I see this big thing that says save 20%. And then it says through May 17th. Okay, as I'm filming this, it's July. Okay, well, boo. So make sure anything you have up here is updated. Okay. And then also make sure like your pictures are super clear. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. So like hang it up on a wall and then step back a little bit, take a photo, okay? Make sure that your photos, like really show somebody what that looks like, okay? These look really good. Um, I still would like to see them like up on a wall. You guys, they have to imagine and picture like over a couch or in the bathroom or wherever that is, okay? Like take just a few efforts few minutes like this is great it kind of shows me oh it would go in my window okay they need to see that um and on these like put it on somebody's wrist put it in somebody's ear okay or around somebody's neck um because especially for women like we want to know how long is it um 
how would I wear this? Like, there's a lot of questions there that make us pause and not purchase. Okay, so definitely do that. Second thing I want you to look at is do you have a specific email opt-in? Because people don't subscribe. They just don't. Um, to learn more and to stay in touch. They don't, they don't do that. Okay, so you gotta look at that and say, what, um, like what specifically is my email opt-in? Okay, and if you're not sure, like in my business strategy session, like I give you a few ideas that would be really great specifically for your business, okay? Because this doesn't work. And using subscribe in the button is also like, people just don't do it. So I'm kind of doubting she gets a ton of subscribers. Um, okay, so let's look at her Facebook page real quick. Okay, so I'm seeing here, um, so if, if I'm brand new to this, I'm like, okay, well, what the heck is this? That makes no sense to me. Um, and do you only sell jewelry? Okay, you could do a carousel photo with this or something that shows, maybe put like a square in the middle of that and say the three things. You know, we do custom jewelry, custom art, custom um, stained glass. Okay, and I would show maybe like three pictures or do a carousel, something, okay? You only get one chance for them to kind of figure out because master repurposers, that doesn't tell me what that is, okay? Um, so the other thing I'm not seeing, and this would be my third tip for her, is that we better create a community on Facebook, okay? So when you only have um, 249 people, okay, then you've got to be posting stuff that people will share so that they can, so you can get more organic, okay? Reviews should come after a purchase. So that should be part of your sales funnel and that's how you get repeat customers is asking for a review and sending them something for doing that. Okay, not a product, but like a 10% off. Okay, so I love that she's doing video. It helps you see the stuff, right? Um, but I would rather her concentrate because if I came in right this moment, I'd be like, what the heck are you doing here? Um, Make sure it's you, that you're showing your stuff, okay? And then if you're sharing from Instagram to Facebook, so this is where this hashtag stuff comes in. Facebook is not into hashtags yet. We hear that it's coming, but it's not there yet. Okay, so use Creator Studio, okay? Use that to schedule your posts, to do that. Um, if you know you're going to be somewhere, people see a graphic before they see words. Okay, so maybe have some in Canva that you've got set up that you just change the time and the location. Okay, but make it, take out the hashtags. Okay. And then there just needs to be more communication asking questions, asking people um, what, you know, like like a great one on here would be, do you like A better or B better? I guarantee you people would like totally, you'd have way more responses, okay? I mean, try to keep it, okay, so there's a disconnect here. So when you're talking, about jewelry and stained glass and then all of a sudden you're throwing in granola and vegetables like you've totally confused your people okay so try to keep it what it is so a couple positives here y'all look at her shop we talked about this in another video and i'll link that but look she could put a product in here and link it to her shop okay awesome idea there um, 
But anyway, those are my three tips. See you again here. I need to restock to eat my granola. Okay, granola and jewelry don't go together. Um, so there's a disconnect there. Okay, I also don't see an email opt-in. I don't see, um, there's just some confusion there. So like if you were the customer, would you be confused? Probably. Okay, so doing that business scorecard will help you like put some of those pieces together there. So anyway, I hope that's helpful, okay? The last thing I'm gonna say is when we use a button that says call now, um, people for the most part are not gonna call. Okay, so I would rather see, like go visit my website. Like she has a website, um, this is the website. Send a message. Something that doesn't feel so, I, I don't know, like, that's a big leap of faith for somebody to call you up. Maybe they just have some questions and they want to message you. Okay, so anyway, I hope that's helpful. If you want your business review to have a few ideas, um, definitely just put that in the comments. And then I randomly pick people to do that for. Um, but if you want a full strategy, like that's, that's what I love doing. And you get a two month plan of everything you need to implement over two months to have more business. So if that's what you want, um, there's a link in the description and I would highly recommend it um, to anybody, whether you're just starting out or you've been in business for a while, there's always places where you're not seeing where you could add a stream of income where the customer journey is just, it's a little bit fractured um, and you're so close to it, you can't see it. So anyway, if that's you, you can put the link, um, you can grab that link in the comments and learn more about it. Okay, so anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're doing any sort of out and about or even if you're a brick and mortar business, try to capture their information when they walk in the store, okay? Around the store, have different places that they can do a QR code, that they can text to a number. Um, you just never know when you build that list and you're consistent with email that somebody browsing for a moment can turn into a sale. It very well can. Um, so think about that. Okay, how can you do that? So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you want your business for me to look at it, post it in the comments or if you want a full-blown strategy with written and everything, um, you can get a one-to-one -one strategy session. Okay, have a great day.